Whenever I get on my computer, the first thing that always happens is that I log onto Facebook. Even if I need to start a project, I will always find myself magically on Facebook and scrolling through the feed. This is a bad habit of mine. We all have habits, either good or bad. It is something that we all have and do. Some of us might bite our nails when we are bored, or jog for an hour every morning when we wake up. But what exactly are habits and can we change them? According to the book, The Power of Habit, a habit is an automatic routine that always consists of four things. The cue, the routine, the reward, and a craving for the reward. In fact, all of these go into a cycle and is called the habit loop. There is first the cue in the environment or in the self, and this causes a routine or a habit and leads to a reward, and the craving for the reward keeps it all intact. Let's go back to my example of me going on Facebook every time I log on to the computer. The cue is me turning on my computer and opening a browser. Then automatically, I open Facebook because I want a certain reward. Now the reward can be anything. It can be my want to socialize and message my friends, or it can just even be my desire to be less bored and for me to scroll through the news feed. In fact, the actual reward that I wanted was just to see if anybody wanted to talk to me and I wanted some sort of stimulation. I hoped that by logging onto Facebook, I would get something exciting and sometimes I did and sometimes I didn't. Even if I didn't, I would just start scrolling through my newsfeed, hoping to get something, and that was a big time waster for me. The burning question now is that, is it possible to change habits, and how exactly do we change it? You see, in the cycle of the habit loop, the routine is between the cue and the reward. Changing the cue and the reward is difficult, because that would mean making a whole new habit instead of editing an existing one. However, if you just change the routine in the middle of the cue and the reward, that would mean that you're editing the habit, and it's much more simpler and easier to do than creating a new habit. The book provides four steps, which are identify the routine, experiment with the reward, isolate the cue, and make a plan. Identifying the routine, or in other words, identify the habit that you're trying to change. You first have to realize what kind of habits that you have and which ones you want to change. For me, I realized my habit of logging onto my Facebook when I saw so much time was gone and I did nothing but just scroll through my newsfeed. Then you got to experiment with the rewards. What is the thing that you're trying to receive from doing the routine or the habit? What is your craving that your reward is satisfying? There's always a reason that you're doing some sort of routine. Again, my reward for going on Facebook could have been my desire to socialize with friends or just stop being bored. I tested the routines that would target the reward and wait 15 minutes and see if my craving to go on Facebook was gone. And if it did, that means I found my targeted reward. For example, if my reward was my desire to socialize, once I turned on my computer, I would, instead of my regular routine of going on Facebook, I would text a friend. Then I would set a timer for 15 minutes, and after 15 minutes, if I still had an urge to go on Facebook, then being able to socialize with friends wasn't the reward I was craving for. As stated before, the actual reward was looking for a stimulation and something exciting. And I realized that after testing different routines, going on my email satisfied my urge. I first tested going onto my email instead of going on Facebook. I then turned on my timer for 15 minutes and then see if my craving was gone or not. And sure enough, it was gone. Going on my email gave me the same stimulation I needed from Facebook because personally, I think getting emails are fun and exciting. However, this is not all. You also need to identify the cue. For me, it was easy because my cue was going on my computer and opening my browser. But other situations might be more subtle. To identify the cue, you have to list five things when your craving starts and when you start doing your routine or habit. Here are the five. The location you were at, what time it was, your emotional state, the people that are around you, and lastly, what you were doing immediately before the routine. This might take a few days or even a few weeks just to find the cue, but it's really important that you identify the cue if you really want to change your habit. After a few days, you can compare the list of the five things and look for similarities. For me, I noticed that the same thing was the immediate thing I was doing before my habit, which was logging onto my computer and opening up the browser. Everything else, the location, time, emotional state, and people around me were different from time to time, but I had the common link of doing that immediate thing before the routine. Lastly, once you found the cue, routine, and the reward, you have to make a plan and stick with it. You have to make a plan to change the routine. And remember, it is really hard to change the cue and the reward because it is already an instilled habit, and you just want to edit the habit instead of making a new one. To do this, you need to change the routine. 
eventually the new routine will, will become automatic and replace the old one. My plan to change my routine was that as soon as I opened my computer, I would log onto my Gmail. I said my Gmail is one of my bookmarks so I had it super accessible. Now today I don't even think about logging onto Facebook when I first turn on my computer, instead I just go directly to my email. The habit of going on my email replaced the habit of going on Facebook. There's still one key ingredient that you need 100% in order to change any habit. Without it, you just can't. You need the belief that you are able to change the habit and the belief in yourself that you are able to do it. No matter what good plan you make once you've found your cue, routine, and reward, if you do not believe that you can change the habit and follow the plan, nothing will work. I hope you enjoyed this video and found it really informative. And forming a plan and executing is like a screwdriver. A screwdriver is a great tool and works, but if you do not go and put in effort and use it, it sucks and it's useless. Alright, thank you so much and please subscribe, like, share, because it really helps me out and I can keep making videos like this in the future. I'll see you next time. Thank you.